Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you um, some of my cushions that I have um, ordered over the last couple of months. Um, I think I got the first ones in probably around the 1st of January. So I've been using them for a good six weeks and um, I have quite a few. So I thought what I would do instead of just doing a haul video, I um, have been saving them and have been wearing them, so I'll be able to give a little bit of a review on each of these that I have ordered and kind of tell you what my thoughts are on each one and which one I think is the best out of all of them. So if you're interested in finding out my opinion on some Korean um, cosmetics, some Korean cushions, then just keep on watching. Okay, the first things that I want to show you are actually some empty cushion compacts that I ordered off of eBay. These were around $5 each and I, I ordered them because I wanted to make my own um, cushion. So this is what I ordered and I will try to leave the link down in the description box of where I ordered them from. They came in really fast and they seem to be you know pretty good quality they have their little cushion here and then or the the sponge i guess to put it on and then the little cushion that you would put your product on and i just plan on using some um, foundation that is a little bit too dark i'm going to mix it with some um, moisturizer and create my own cushion and I got two of them because I have a couple different products that I want to make a cushion out of. Um, they're, they, these were from the same seller. Um, one was square and one was round, but it's pretty much the, the same concept. So just really pretty, um, sleek, empty cushions. So I thought I would show those or share that with you first. And then the next product that I have, and I am going to say... Yes, everything that I ordered with the exception of two, I ordered off of Amazon. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is this one here, and this is called My Conus Long Lasting Multi Cushion. It has an SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus, and it's called Perfect Cover Whitening and Vitality All Day Long Last Cushion. And um, it did come with a refill on it. I think all of the ones that I ordered came with a refill. So that one had a refill and the price on this was around $15. And here is what the product itself looks like. And let me show you the inside of it. Um, it's very, very messy. <laughs> Out of all the ones that I ordered this one is probably my least favorite and out of all of them let me rephrase that none of them have actually used this little applicator I don't like the way that these little applicators put the cushion product onto the face I have been using my um, real techniques little flat sponge here that I that I have and this is what I've been applying all of these cushions with was this thing here. But anyway, this one, um, when I first opened it, I had a really hard time getting the whole cushion here or this little sponge completely saturated. It seemed like it just wanted to do it on one side. So it was kind of um, not even and that's why it kind of really made a mess over here on this side because all the product was concentrated over here on this side instead of um, just all the way around so it was kind of messy for that reason because all of it was kind of over here onto this side and also another reason why i don't like it it is a little bit um drying so i think this is more of a product that would be good for combination to oily skin i just felt like this made my skin look too dry and this is also in the number 21 i think almost all of these i got in that number um, you'll find with the cushions there's not a big shade range um, amongst the cushions so 
if you have really, really dark skin, you're probably not going to find a cushion that's going to work for you. But let me do a swatch. And um, I took pictures of me wearing these products every single day. So hopefully at some point in time that I'm talking here, you'll see a side by side of what it looked like on as opposed to me just swatching it here. But that, I don't know really if we're gonna be able to tell anything, but that is what it is. And um, it claims to be long lasting, anti-wrinkle, whitening, perfect cover with moisture, moisture control and SPF. So the moisture control, I should, uh, should have rung a bell to me, let me know that hay is gonna be more geared toward um, oily skin as opposed to someone with dry skin. But I mean, the finish, when you look at it on the hand and everything is really pretty. It's just, I didn't like the way that it wore. I didn't really like the color tone of this one. For some reason, this one kind of leaned a little bit more toward the orange side. So um, overall, I would give this one, I would pass on, on this one completely. Where'd the box go? <sighs> Here it is in this little box right here but anyway so that was that one and then the next one that i have is from a tude house and this one i actually ordered directly from a tude house itself and they were doing a promotion where you got this kit right here for ten dollars so it came with the cushion pack it came with a refill and it came with this little deluxe size sample of the fix and fix primer for it says tone up and it's in the color lavender just for correcting it's not a bad primer actually um I've been putting it all over my face. As you can see, it's definitely got the lavender color, which has helped to correct, um, I think, what redness. So it did come with that and um, haven't had any issues with that primer. And this one is in the color vanilla. Now I did order petal. No, wait, the one I'm using is petal. This one is the one in vanilla. I ordered vanilla and I ordered petal because I couldn't really tell on the website, you know, what color I would want. But um, after getting them, um, vanilla is a little bit too yellow. So I haven't opened that one. I've been using this one. And this is what the compact itself looks like, which is really pretty with this little um, pink vi um, variation there. And this was around, um, while they were doing the sale with the shipping and everything, it was $15. Um, I've seen them on Amazon for $15 to $24. So it just varies on where you get it at. And again, this is in the color Petal. It has a little poof here, which I have not used. And it opens up like all of the cushions. And here is the color here, which you're probably not going to be able to see. <coughs> And here is what it looks like on swatched. Um, it claims to be long lasting and 24 hour coverage, um, perfect cover, smooth adherence. And it also came in six different shades, which was pretty decent for being a cushion, a cushion compact. Um, I did notice that when I wore it, it did kind of wear off a little bit here in the T-zone, which is kind of typical for just about anything that I wear anyway. I'm not one to uh, powder throughout the day, so wearing off a little bit was fine. And with these, I mean, they're not giving you so much heavy coverage that it's going to be noticeable anyway. Um, let's see, I liked the finish and I liked the, the color. I did like the initial coverage of it. I just, the wear of it was not quite what I would want it to be, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Could definitely deal with that. And then also with that order, um, they sent some free things. They sent two free masks. One is Pearl and one is Camellia. 
and then also this little um, kit here. It's called Red Energy for Tension Up Skincare Kit from Etude House. It was a promotion that they were doing for that week, and it has all these little different trial sizes of the different skincare. There's a toner, a emulsion, an essence, and a tension up. I don't know what that is. What does tension up mean? Maybe a firming cream? Is that what that means? I don't know. So anyway, that was in with that order, which was not bad to get all of that. I think I spent, I think all together it was like $30. Okay, the next ones that I have, I ordered off of um, Amazon. And this one is the Misha. And this is the Misha Magic Cushion Cover. And um, this one is in the color 21. I wrote my notes down because I can't hardly read anything on these packages. But anyway, number 21. And here's what the compact looks like. It's just a really pretty white compact with um, silver accent on it and here's what it looks like inside again just really pretty um and all of these have well yeah i stress it yeah i think pretty much all of them have sunscreen in them which is really good this one is a spf of 50 plus uh so and here's what that color looks like this one's a little bit of a lighter coverage so I don't think you're gonna be able to see I keep saying that but then I keep swatching everything but this one was around around $19 there's four colors to choose from the other color that I have because I wasn't for sure is this one here and I think this is the number 20 22 I do believe and this one came with um, the refill that's in the box and on the bottom but unfortunately this is not the right color for me but stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll find out what I'm going to be doing with those so anyway um, as far as the color the number 21 color of this is a little bit lighter than the other two so this one kind of had a little bit it was a little bit too light for me, but once I put a little bit darker powder on and some bronzer, it was fine. Um, it does have a slight fragrance to this one, and this one has a little bit of a satin finish, but you can build this one up, even though it um, has a light um, texture to it, a light finish. You can put two layers on this or two skins and kind of build it up a little bit if you need a little bit more coverage than a a light a light of yeah light coverage you can build it up to medium coverage there we go that's what i'm trying to say so i have that one and then the next one that i have and i almost hate to talk about this one because it was a special edition one from laneige but i want to show you everything that i got in that haul that order they were doing a special promo and I think you got like 30% off and they were doing a special cushion for the new year but I couldn't resist this cute little package with these little owls on it oh it's so cute so cute um, it was around $24 and um, what color is this one this is in medium and it has a sunscreen in it but unfortunately this one is really too dark for me it really is and I went back after I got it in because it took a little bit of time to, to order it in the um, light color no I ordered it in light I needed it in fair is what it was and um, it was already sold out so I decided to go ahead and keep it because um, I just really like the compact. I can always take one of my other cushions and put in here. And did this one come with a refill? Here's the box. I don't remember. Yes, it did. Of course it did. Yes, it came with a refill. And this one is um, sunscreen. 
protects, covers, hydrates, smooths, and brightens. So, I mean, that's one of the things about a lot of these cushions is they have skincare benefits in them also. So it makes it really nice to have on the skin. Um, this was about a medium coverage. The wear time's not that great on it. And if I had to do it all over again, I definitely would get the fair color for sure because that one's just a little bit too dark. And then the other thing that I bought in that order was this here, and this is the Cushion Concealer number 11 in Rose Porcelain. And it looks like this here. It has one of these little um, sponge applicators on the end and a little clip here. This thing is too thick and heavy for underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna have to use it for some spot concealing but it's just, it's just too thick and gets under my eyes and creases. It's too heavy. I don't like it. So I don't recommend that one. And then they did send over in that order some samples of the sleepy mask, the time free sleepy mask. Okay, the next product I have is from the brand called Pony Effect. And this is the Pony Effect Everlasting Cushion Foundation in Rose Ivory. And this one is more on the pricier side. This one is $41. I did order this off of Amazon. It does come in five shades. And it claims to have skin blooming ingredient, supports luminous skin tone, a whitening, an anti wrinkle and SPF and the SPF in it is 50 plus PA plus 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 which I think that's pretty much standard for a lot of the um, cushions for um, Korean cushions for some reason anyway okay oh this one of course I would like the one that's one of the most expensive ones but here it is here it's in a really pretty um, just sleek packaging it's in square instead of round like the other ones but inside is um, round. But here is that. And here is the color. And I just, I love this. I like the finish. I like the wear. I like the luminosity of it. For someone that has dry aging skin, this is just beautiful on the skin. And of course, being one of the more expensive ones, of course I like it. One of my favorites out of the ones that I purchased. So. This one I do recommend, I'm sorry. And then the last one that I have is the most expensive one. And this one I ordered off of Amazon. It was cheaper on Amazon than it is off of um, Beautylish. I think on Beautylish this runs around 60 something dollars, but on Amazon I paid 42. Again, this is in the number, the color number 21. And where is it at? And then here is the little cushion itself. This one by far is my favorite. Um, it is the one that I'm wearing. Um, it's probably been the one I've been wearing the last couple videos. Um, ignore the bags under my eyes. I can't help it. Um, my doctor put me on Sydney medicine and I have not been sleeping and they have gotten worse. And if I conceal them, then everything gets dry and cakey under my eyes. So I know they look bad, but anyway, back to the cushion. Here's what it looks like. Has really good coverage, but it's not a heavy coverage or full coverage, which I like. And here's, I'm trying to get a good swatch right there. It is buildable. So you can definitely build it up on the skin. So you can definitely put two layers if you wanted to and it's not gonna get cakey. And it just leaves just a really pretty luminous finish to the skin. I really like it. Now I do set them, I have set all of these with the same powder. And the powder that I'm using right now is one that I normally wouldn't use. It's a little drying, but I'm just trying to use it up. But other than that, oh, I just love the finish of it so. Do recommend this one and it's called the Sawaso 
Perfecting Cushion EX. I don't think I gave the official name of it. So anyway, so that is it. That is my haul for all the cushions that I've ordered and a little bit of a review of each one. I hope that you have enjoyed. And I um, am going to give these two that don't, that are not the right color for me away. So um, the only way I know how to do it is first of all, um, it has to be to someone that's here in the United States. I can't do an international shipping again. I did that for my last giveaway and the shipping fees are just so expensive and I'm so sorry, but I, I just can't, I can't do that. So if you live in the United States and you would like to try one of these, just put a message in the comments. Whoever um, comments first and lets me know that they would want one to try it, they will be the one to get it. And you let me know which one you want. If you want the, um, the Misha or if you want the Etude House. Um, the Etude House is in vanilla and the Misha is in number 22. So two different people can get these. So just let me know who wants them and I will send them out to you. So anyway, um, thank you so much. Um, don't forget to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Um, also click that little bell icon because then you are notified of all future videos. And um, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed and now I'm going to go finish watching the Super Bowl and um, hope that the Eagles win. So anyway, thanks so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.